Tyler, the creator, is an artist that many tried to emulate, myself included. After listening to all of his songs and watching all of his interviews, I've discovered not one, but three of Tyler, the creator's secret weapons that make his music sound so unique and compelling. We gon' do a podcast microphone style. Let's say you want to build a beautiful house, but you don't know where to start. You need to build a foundation so that the whole thing doesn't fall apart. What Tyler does is expose himself to music daily to get the ingredients he needs to build the foundation and frame. I just lurk music a lot. Like, I wake up every morning and spend two hours listening to music that I've never heard before. So. This is secret number one, curate. Tyler is not just a creator, but he's also a curator. From 911 to I Think, many of Tyler's songs were directly inspired by other create artists. I feel like falling in love. This time I think it's for he makes sure to collect and use his favorite sounds and chord progressions, ripping drum grooves from tracks he found and playing new ideas over them. Develop your taste by consuming a lot of music and saving and exploring the parts that you love. That way you can use bits and pieces as material to build your project. As soon as I got my roles, I went on a road trip to Utah in the snow. In 2015, Tyler was becoming more recognized for his comedy than his music. He had also just dropped an album that everybody hated. This was his last chance. If Tyler's next project failed, his career was over. So whilst on tour with Pharrell, he had a life-changing conversation. We go to the studio and I'm in there. He's like looking up to me like, you got it, nigga, you just don't, you just don't see it, nigga, you got it, you got the shit. Okay, no more being silly, no more man. music first. And at that moment, we went home I just wanted to change everything. I just wanted to switch, and the switch fucking happened. He left with his focus on relearning how to make good songs. This led him to secret number two, which is song structure. So just like in the first example, song structure is used as the frame and foundation of your song. Without it, your song will be too free-flowing and hard to follow. Tyler realized by learning to use song structure correctly, he can guide the listener on a journey whilst holding as much of their attention as possible. All of that sounds cool, but how exactly does it work? Well, this is basic song structure. It's designed so that each section builds and releases tension in a consistent manner that holds the attention of the listener. By focusing on each individual section, Tyler composes them to fulfill their purpose perfectly. The intro builds interest, the verse provides context, the pre-chorus builds tension, the chorus releases tension, and the bridge breaks up any possible boredom that was built up by providing a different feeling. Flower Boy was the result of this new knowledge and it shoots. So picture this, you're a young Tyler the Creator growing up in sunny California and you are just gifted your first keyboard, but your mother can't afford to buy you lessons. What do you do? Well, Tyler's solution was to learn all of his favorite songs by air on the keyboard. This not only improved his air, but also his hands. Tyler is a phenomenal piano player, and you can tell this by listening to his songs. The chord changes he performs would be very time consuming to just draw in an FL studio. This is secret number three, which is instrumentation. From the piano intro on Earthquake 2, basically all of his bridges, Tyler constantly flexes his piano skills to provide us with a volley of movement, energy, and emotion that would be near impossible on a laptop. Learning to play an instrument is overlooked by many artists and producers. Even if you're a sample-based producer, learning an instrument has zero downsides, infinite upside. It can be a recorder, a guitar, harmonica, violin, vibraphone, any instrument. It will give you a more deeper tactile connection with your music, making it sound more natural. So there you have it, the three secret weapons to Tyler the Creator's music. Even though these aren't direct step-by-step -step techniques, they give an insight to the little things that add to Tyler's genius. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Hit like if you like and subscribe for more.